Hi folks, well we're here again looking at this uh, Netgear DG834N ADSL router. I've been asked if I'd uh, take a measurement from some of the inductors inside. There's somebody that's had a bit of an accident with one of their routers and they've broken, I think it's L4 that they've broken. Uh, which is just there. And that circuit there forms part of the ADSL um, input to the Broadcom DSP chip but it's a balanced circuit so if you break an inductor on one side or a capacitor for that in fact you've got to replace it on both sides so you keep an equal balance on that circuit but because the component values aren't marked um, we will just take a measurement now bear in mind I am measuring this in circuit I don't, I don't really want to desolder uh, the surface mount inductor from, from this router even though it's just a spare router so they're going to be in circuit measurements but I'm measuring it on a fairly decent component bridge um, and the the test voltage is very low so um, we'll just have to go with the readings that we get really but it should be fairly accurate so let's just go ahead and measure now hopefully I won't get uh, too far in the way so you can see the meter when I'm doing this first of all let's measure let's measure L4 Through the oxide, just need to press it down a bit. There we go. Uh, 67.3 micro Henry's uh, L9 67.2. Look at the other ones. This is L5 67.7. And the last one, which is L8. Press 67.7. So I, I think your preferred value there for uh, component selection is going to be uh, 68 micro Henry's. Um, we'll just measure one of them the other way around for the opposite polarity, but it shouldn't make any difference really. Sorry, my hands are in the way. Uh, 67, yes, exactly the same. So 68 micro Henry's. Well, good luck in finding one.